All right, let's add some loops to your project, but not Fruit Loops. Although I am hungry now. Okay, let's go ahead and transpose notes. Now this really isn't a tool, it's more of a technique. So I'm gonna show you this technique. Now what is transposing? Transposing is when you're moving notes or a specific melody up or down the scale within the key of course so once again i'm going to show you the example with the upright jazz bass and let's go ahead and solo that for now okay so we have our track editor open already now what i tend to use the uh, transposing technique for a lot is after i have my melody down um, what's really useful for me is transposing the note or the whole melody up an octave or down an octave now octaves are a perfect eighth interval now what that means is it is the exact same note and melody it's just in a higher pitch or in a lower pitch within the key range and sometimes that's useful when um, you have multiple elements in let's say uh, you have a bass and let's say let's well let's say you have two bases you have the regular electric bass and then for example my my instrument right now which is the upright jazz bass and you don't want both of those bases conflicting with each other so one will be in a lower key and then another one will be in a higher key anyway let's go ahead and i'm going to select all of these notes so you just click and drag and highlight all of them that way all of them are selected and you want to use a point of reference when you're transposing. And I usually just use the first note, which is this note right here. And this note is on this key right here. And really all you have to do is look at the next one up. So this key is right next to the two black ones right here. So the next one up is really this one. So you just got to make sure that this one note makes it up to the next one and it'll transpose exactly perfectly so let's go ahead and click and drag all of them one more time okay and slide it up and what's really cool is GarageBand you can hear it transposing boom and that's perfectly one up now let's go ahead and undo that just so I can show you how it sounds so I'm going to hold Apple and Z undo and hit the play Okay, now I'm going to hit Apple Shift Z, which redoes what we just previously did, which was transpose it. And now I'm going to play it again. All right, so go ahead and have fun with transposing your melodies. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com. Told me that you